Hey guys, Rush here with another video. Today what I made is uh, what I'm calling a pulse saver. I'm not sure if I'm the first one to do this, but um, if I'm not the first one to make this, then just tell me and I will uh, give credit to whoever made it or uh, and change the title. So what a pulse saver will do is it will save the pulses you input, then it you can display or start that by uh, clicking it another button so what I have here is our input so I just click the button let's do it twice so I input our I input uh, two pulses okay now we can save these pulses and then we can then start or display the pulses and then as you can see could hear um, those two note blocks went off okay and as always it wants to rain weather rain okay so let's just uh, this time let's let's do three one two three so we input three pulses we're going to save these pulses and then we can now activate those as you could see are uh, here again uh, those pulses went off not but this time what I'll do is I'll just input one pulse and then we'll do insta start which will then um, instantly uh, produce that note without having to save those okay and if let's just say if we put in accidentally three pulses and we uh, one wanted to do two we can just reset everything like that and we can start all over to do uh, two pulses then we can save them again and then start pretty cool huh so let's actually get on to how this work works so right here I have a design of a counter uh, made by time um, hold on, it's made by Test3891. Uh, he has a YouTube uh, channel. Just type that in again. It, again, it's Test3821, if I'm correct. 3891, I'm stupid. Um, if you want to check out his uh, compact piston powered counter, um, he has one up. Just search Test3891 on YouTube. Okay, so uh, I have his design here. It's a little bit different though, uh, but as you can see, if I put something in the input, a piece of sand will go up, sending a pulse or um, sending a current over to uh, over there. Okay, we can do it again. Another piece of sand will come out, sending it over another uh, redstone current, and we can do that again for three because I right now I only have it set up for three but if we do it a fourth then I have it set up to just reset everything like that okay so I'll go into a little bit detail on how it's this works uh, so this button does not do anything okay until we flip the switch and right now I have it set up for three here so every time we push the button a piece of sand will come up another piece of sand will come up and then again once we push it the third time another piece of sand will come up so that's what I have set up um, over there now if we flip the switch all of it will uh, disactivate and the pistons will retract back in so over here as you can see we don't have to use any type of lever that's because I have this redstone torch right here which will then power uh, this sand block or power this piece of sand which will then um, give power to this uh, piston right here but the only way to actually get this piston to retract out is if we update it by pushing this button because it will send out um, a short signal amount using this monostable circuit which will then power this uh, which will then send over power over to these repeaters allowing us to do the same for all of these now once it gets to the fourth one or when we reset it it will turn off this redstone uh, which will then invert this turning off all of this retracting back in the pistons okay but to do that we also need to 
uh, cut off the signal for these redstone repeaters to cut off all power going into the pistons. So when we reset it, all pistons will fall down. Okay, and how the reset works is that a monostable circuit again will go into this piston right here that resets everything, and then uh, it will just do that. Uh, it's resetting without us having to do make some complicated resetting system. Okay, it will also reset uh, once uh, this piston right here that will display our notes uh, comes over this redstone torch, the first piston, because it will come all the way around again and then back into this piston uh, to reset everything. So, how this works is that once we choose our input, or once we want to choose how many uh, times, or yeah, once we choose our input, uh, these sand blocks will pop up, causing these redstone to be lit up. Okay, so I'll do it three times. One, two, three. So now we have these pieces of redstone lit. Now the only way to uh, the only way to get these pistons to retract out is to update the blocks around them, okay? And that's what this button does. Save. This will activate a redstone, the redstone dust under here, activating these, or updating these pistons, allowing it to retract out. And just a little bit of explanation on how that works. So we have this redstone torch here. When we have active redstone right here, this piston will not retract out until we update the block next to it. So if we put a piece of sandstone right there, it will uh, not, it will update that block and the piston can retract out. Now the only way to get this to retract back in is to remove the redstone and then update the block next to it. Like that. So that's how that works. Now the same thing happens over here when we want to display or start the only difference though is that I have redstone repeaters under these pistons uh, causing a delay in the um, time it takes for these pistons to actually come out and uh, act activate this redstone. Now if you wanted to, you could also um, have all these connected together with some more monostable circuits so each pulse will uh, activate these note blocks um, at the same time. Now, a good use for this would actually be to make a um, a house or a self-building house, where as in where you can select the dimensions or dimensions on uh, how big you want the house to be. So if you want the house to be uh, three by three, okay, you can uh, input that and put the dimension. So one, two, three, and that should have gone through or not. Uh, two, three. So, uh, let's pr just pretend this is the width, and then we'll have height and length. Then we can save those settings. And then, now, when we start, it will then, um, activate this redstone, sending in three pulses to pistons, okay? And then you'll just have a cobblestone generator on the side, uh, to be able to push the push the um, what is it called the pistons out three times so you have a floor of cobblestone that is uh, three uh, that's three in length or width or whatever I uh, hope that kind of makes sense so if we click start as you can see those notes will play so yeah that is how that works uh, that's why I have the save button uh, hopefully, maybe you guys, more of you guys who are better than me with redstone, or better than me than with redstone, can make use out of this and actually maybe improve the design of this and um, make some cool little contraptions out of it. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.